It's a fairly typical day at the Booker headquarters in Urbandale, just outside of Des Moines. These are campaign organizers making final arrangements for the upcoming town halls, house parties, and roundtables that will populate the senator's schedule this weekend. Booker is in the top third of a field of 23 candidates, which sounds pretty good until you realize that polls show him at about 4%. Still, observers say this effort is the key to Booker's potential success. I would say he has one of the best teams on the ground. And here, that's very important. And he has been very supportive of candidates for office in the state of Iowa, which you know, has, was very helpful in a special election we had not long ago. And those are the sort of things that I think activists remember. He called early on in the campaign, you know, early fall last year. Jennifer Kahn first is a first term Iowa state representative, the equivalent of an assembly person in New Jersey. She was one of the first elected officials in the state to endorse Booker. You might think a rookie state lawmaker would want to kick a few more tires before she makes a choice. But Confer says she was taken by Booker's outreach. He understood early on that it's not just about coming in here, saying, look at me, and then leaving. It was really important for him to be a presence in the state before, I mean, he wasn't running at the time. Certainly, I figured a senator from New Jersey giving me a call in the fall Maybe there was something to it besides just caring about the Iowa legislature. This is not going against someone else. This is really going for him. And so for me, it was like once I knew him, I knew him and I wanted to go. It wasn't, gosh, I better wait for somebody better. I think he's the best, so I might as well do it. And um, then if I can help out earlier in the state that I want to. Since his last visit here, Booker has unveiled policy initiatives on guns, a plan which got some national attention, and reproductive rights including calling on men to take a more active role in defending women's reproductive rights. Those two issues will be a part of the Booker pitch in this latest trip to Iowa as he tries to hone his message to voters in the critical first primary contest. Surrogates can only do so much, and so it really is important that the candidate themselves is here and that they're talking to folks and that they're understanding the issues and you know, and, and really just engaging with, with frankly, regular Iowans who, who take the process seriously. And so they, you know, I think are very well informed and ask very hard questions of candidates. It, it, I think if you, you ask Barack Obama, I think he would tell you that the Iowa process made him a much better candidate than he would have been otherwise. Booker's schedule begins in earnest tomorrow and stretches throughout the holiday weekend. He's gotten generally high marks for being here early and often, but sitting at 4% in the polls suggests that he's still got a long way to go. In Des Moines, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.